How are you? How the test guys been going so far? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, obviously nice to be here with the lads, quite a big squad with the T20 boys and, and the test boys. Uh, obviously after what's been quite a busy and a, and a long time away from home for the lads, it's quite nice to bring some energy and some excitement around the group and yeah, looking forward to the test matches to, to start soon. Yeah, quite a unique arrangement having the two squads working together. You guys are sort of obviously training on game day and while they're playing. So can you give us, the, I suppose, how that's sort of been working? And you mentioned the fizz, it's nice to see everyone. Yeah, it's obviously quite a uh, quite tough with a bit of bubble life. Um, just stuck to the hotel and stuff. So we sort of obviously try and have some entertainment around the hotel, a couple of uh, board games and a few bits and pieces, card games to, to keep ourselves busy. But the facility's been great. It's been uh, not too hot that we normally get in India, so still pretty warm. Uh, but yeah, a little bit more mild than, than what we're used to. So sort of nice to have that side of things. Um, but yeah, I guess training-wise, obviously just make the most that we can. Uh, same time, obviously training, then what the game is happening uh, on the night off, so um, yeah, it's just a pretty big group and try and bring that excitement around the guys and, and feed off each other, which has been quite nice. Cool, and you've obviously been here before, but what's it like to be back in India? Yeah, obviously just the, the way they love cricket, the way they support it. Um, it's a very passionate cricket nation, isn't it? So um, just to see the love and the support around and, and how they've uh, obviously uh, enjoy having crowds back, uh, which is something it's uh, obviously quite nice to have with the pandemic going around the world. So uh, pretty awesome. We've been really well looked after. Um, and like I said, it's just nice to, to be back in the environment, be around the lads um, and, and obviously share the excitement. So uh, a lot of hard work to be done um, in the next few weeks. And, and yeah, looking forward to the first test match starting, starting soon. Yeah, and looking cricket specifically, what's it been like? You've had Jimmy Pammon helping you guys here to this point. How has the prep been? Yeah, uh, there's a number of guys that's come in and out. Um, I mean, just even just with uh, a rush and going into the T20 side and, and things, uh, you know, I think everyone is adapting nicely and, and just the way everyone comes in and know what they need to do and, and I guess seamlessly fit into their role um, is a testament to what we've been doing, I guess, in New Zealand cricket for quite some time now. So um, it's something that's put us in good stead. Jimmy has uh, suited in quite nicely and helped the boys out and, and run a tight ship. Um, so that's been pretty good too. Um, so yeah, I think everybody is just, yeah, uh, I guess looking forward to the challenges ahead. It's a, a tough place to play cricket, um, but I think everybody is uh, obviously looking forward to that challenge. And just on your bowling, as, as you prepare for this series, uh, what do you have to do differently over here, or how do you approach bowling over here? Yeah, not the ideal preparation, obviously, letting in. Um, with COVID, as we say, around uh, at home, I haven't been able to play any domestic cricket leading up to it, so uh, a little bit frustrating in that, but that's one of those uncontrollable factors. Um, for now, it's quite nice to actually hit the ground running and, and not having to adapt too much to to what you've actually done back home. Um, it sort of hit the ground running on the facilities, yeah. So it's just adapting to the heat, obviously trying to stay dry as much as you can um, and, and knowing that the ball's not going to swing for very long. So got to be quite tight in your lines and, and heavy in those lengths and uh, be quite ruthless. Like I said, the margin of error is quite small and it is a tough place to play, but I think everybody's looking forward to that challenge, uh, which is tough over here, but uh, that's called test cricket. So that's why I think uh, I reckon everyone's pretty fizzed up for that. Mm, and lastly, it's the first uh part of the second cycle of the World Test Champions. Obviously you are the World Test Champions. How cool is it to get another cycle underway? It is. Um, it's something, yeah, uh, nothing can take, no one can take it away from you. It's, uh, it's something that's pretty special I'm still very proud of. Uh, I guess the main thing for us now is put our head down and try and defend it. Um, give ourselves every best chance to, to play the cricket we've been playing, the brand we've been playing and, and make New Zealanders proud. I think that's the main thing. Um, whatever the result is, as long as we obviously leave everything out there and give it our best and give it our all and, and play the way we play, uh, the rest will take care of itself. So um, hopefully yeah, things can unfold our way, um, but yeah, pretty confident that the boys and we, the crew we've got here, um, is ready to get stuck in and put their hand up. So looking forward to the challenge.